Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Mad About CNC's. And I am a bit mad by the way. But today we're going to have some fun. We're going to run some code on this machine I've been playing with. If you look over here, I've already written something. I've, I use VCarp Pro. It's one of my favourites. Um, I've already posted out the program to the, to the USB stick. I actually wrote my own post processor. Blip, blip, blip. Anyhow, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's take the code over the machine and run it see what happens. Hopefully I haven't stuffed it up. Who knows? Well the machine's off so we don't have to have the code the, the stick in to start with. Let's boot her up. Turn the power on. That noise is just a fan on the motor running. It's a bit noisy but they have to run to keep them cool because they're as I said it's a 10 horsepower motor. We'll put in our password HTG and I like to go to the F1 screen and do that as well um, I got rid of the password because it annoyed the crap out of me if you look at this there it is the new update nice and colorful easy to see when you when you're configuring stuff you know whether they're on or off or high or low rather I should say um, we'll go back to here it's asking me to uh, start the reset the e-stop off on now it wants me to home, the machine's moving. Now if you look at, if you look on the screen here at these numbers, they don't, they're not showing zero. That's because I'm using an offset. I'm using an offset here, the home offset, which you probably can't see, maybe you can see it, um, which, is, which is making zero the corner of my MDF sheet. So. What we'll do is, is, what we'll do now is we'll, we'll load that code, put the USB stick in. I left it out on purpose so you can see you don't need to have it in there to boot the machine up. Load the file, I just called it a chook. There it is, loaded the code, go to program. Now I have noticed that this screen, this screen has to be in focus for it to run. If it's not in focus, it sort of sits there and won't do anything. So, and sometimes I've got to actually tell it to rewind the code as well. So, everything's ready to go. Let's see what happens. We'll press start. Cycle start. Well, oh, there we go. We're not actually going to cut into the board. I don't want to damage my vacuum board, so we're just above it. We're doing an air cut. And if you look over here, you can you can see the you can see where the machine's cutting. Now it's going to do a tool change now. If we look back at the machine, open the tool. Up comes the tool change. It's going to put that one away. Pick up tool 4, which is a 10 mil drill bit. It's just going to drill one hole for the eye of the chook. But I, I did that on purpose so you could actually see the tool change. Now this is something that bothers me. Why it had to do that. Went back to machine 0 to start the router. Now it's come back to where it's got to drill the hole. It's drilled the hole. It's going to tool, tool change again. Put that away. Oh, sorry about that. The compressor just started up. It's a bit noisy. Hopefully it won't run for too long. Tool changer away. Now, this is the bit I don't get. It goes to where it came from. Now it's going back to machine zero. Starts the router. Now it's going to its new cutting position to start again. I don't understand that bit. I think it's a waste of time and it should be changed. I think I need to talk to Masso about that. Other than that, it works fine. And the new, the new tool changer setup will let you set up a linear tool change in either X or Y position. Originally it only let you do it in the X, but with a, a, a bit of coaxing from myself and uh, a lot of um, Toing and froing, we managed to get them to change it so it's X or Y now. Up to 12 tools, by the way.
Oh, thank goodness that turned off. Oh, that's another feature that Matho have added in for me. Air pressure. I mean, with a tool change router, you need air to release the chuck and clamp it back on again. They actually put in a uh, air pressure low input for me so that if the air pressure is not connected, I'll get an alarm up on the screen. Uh, really handy feature. I know a lot of you guys won't use it, but for anyone who's got a tool change router, it's invaluable. Job finished. That whole process going by the clock here, with a little clock here, which I only just noticed a couple of days ago, it said two, two minutes and 31 seconds. Not bad. I'm quite happy with that. It works well. Um, what else can I tell you? How about another video and I'll explain more of, of the hardware that I changed and how I did it. See you next time.